Hi, this is Mrs. Perry Ising with part two of a tutorial on how to do stop motion. In my last video, I showed you that you have to start with having a camera on a tripod to take pictures of your subject that you want to use for your animation. So I had a picture uh, of a glass. I filled up a little water in the glass, took a picture. Put a little bit more water in the glass, took a picture. Put more water in it, took a picture. So you just keep repeating the process by changing your subject a little bit each time and taking a picture. And then uh, the key to that is you want to keep the camera on a tripod. So from there, I saved my pictures into a folder. So I need to bring my pictures that I took and bring them into Final Cut. So I'm going to go to File, Import, Folder. Let me find my folder. Let me type in Water. So there is Water Picks. Let's say Choose. So now I have a folder with uh, pictures in it that I took used in my last tutorial. So when I go into this uh, folder, you see all my pictures. To do stop motion animation, it's as simple as just taking those pictures and dragging them, dropping them onto your timeline. Ah, but the problem is, as you can see, my pictures are on the screen for kind of a long time. And that's because the default for images in Final Cut is for 10 seconds. So if I was to play this, and I'll hit the spacebar to play, notice how the pictures stay on the screen, and that's not an animation. That's more like a slideshow. That's because I have to change the default settings in Final Cut in, for user preferences as to how long I want those images to stay on the screen for. So let me backtrack. Let me delete what's on the timeline. Let me actually cut this folder. Right click, cut. Let me resave my file and start all over. So what I want to do then is before I actually start the project, I want to go into Final Cut Pro, user preferences, click on the second tab, where it says editing and where it says still or freeze frame duration have a look at this timestamp you, you, I generally read a timestamp from right to left the first two numbers on the right where it says zero zero those are frames the next two numbers where it says ten those are seconds to the left of that would be minutes and to the left of that would be hours so I'm gonna change that ten seconds I don't want pictures to stay on for ten seconds I'm gonna make that zero zero I just want to try a couple of frames so I'm gonna put in eight oh eight that's how long I want my pictures to stay on for. And sometimes after I make that change, I even to go file, save all. So now let's go file, import folder again to bring in my folder. Let me type in water. Okay, there's my folder. Bring that in. So now when I open up my folder, double click on it just like I did a minute ago. Here's my pictures. I'm going to click and drag and drop them in my timeline. And notice how small my pictures are now because now my pictures are only on for eight seconds. So the key now to working with your animation in the timeline in Final Cut is play it back, see how it looks. If it's too choppy or it needs to be smoother, use fewer frames. So let's try this. I hit play and let's watch what happens in, over here in the canvas. So that water is filling up very slowly. It's very choppy. So that means I need to have my animation go faster, which means I need to use fewer frames. So instead of going through Final Cut Pro and user preferences again, that's what I do the first time I set this up. This time I'm going to hit Command A to highlight all, and it's real simple to change the frame right now. I'm going to right click on these, and I'm going to go to where it says duration. And you'll notice in this box up here, it says 08, because that's what I set it for as the default under user preferences. Let's change this now and let's make this, uh, let's try half of that. Let's go four for four frames. And I'm going to say OK. And notice how it got even smaller in the timeline. So now I'll play this back from the timeline. Let me just have that finished processing. OK, so now function left to get to the beginning. And let's press play here with the space bar and watch it over here in the canvas. Ready? Go. Now it looked like that water's filling up. Much better frame rate. So that's how you do stop motion animation. The hard part is taking the photographs or the tedious part. Not, it's not really hard, it's just tedious. Once you get it into a folder, you're just dragging and dropping it onto your timeline and changing your frame rate. So that's all for stop motion animation. Have fun with it.